Hey there, this is going to be kind of a short video, but I think it'll get you started on some neat stuff. Um, it was, it's with the uh, arpeggiator that the, um, the MIDI box has. Uh, so set up a pattern, a note pattern, or a note track. Set it out to an instrument. I've got it going out to the Ambika. And then go menu, mode. And where normally it'll be on normal, set it to arpeggiator and set it to bus number one. So it's listening to notes on bus number one. I've also set it to hold on and sort on. And we'll see what those do. And then um, went to length and I set it to eight just so we can see it on the screen. And then the other thing that may be a little confusing at first if you haven't done it before is go menu MIDI and over here make sure the ARP transposer and ARP thing is flashing if not press the button and then over on the other side set up bus 1 to be in 1 I'm using in 1 for my keyboard you can use a different input if you're using a different plug and I've got it on channel 1, which is the wave station. And set your lower way down and your upper way up. It's mode on, mode is transportation and ARP. And then uh, that's what you want to do. And then we'll go back to the notes. Now the notes on the arpeggiator are different than any other arpeggiator I've used. Um, but they're kind of cool. Basically what you have for each note is instead of notes showing up you have two two numbers the first number is showing the note from the played notes whether it's the first note the second note third note or fourth note and then the second number is the octave shift so this is the first note no octave shift second note third note fourth note then I've got the first note again, but shifted up an octave. Second note shifted up one octave. Third note shifted up an octave, and so forth. And you can also shift them down an octave. Basically, I've got it playing the first note, the second note, the third note, the fourth note. Then the first note an octave up. Then the fourth note, third note, second note back down. And I had the arpeggiator set on sort, so it's going to put the notes in order from lowest note to highest note, no matter how I play them. So... I'm going to play D, E, G, A. I don't know if those are the right pitches, but... And then I can play different notes on the keyboard. And I go back to those four I played, D, E, G, A. And then I can change, say, play the fourth note two times in a row, or play the second note two times in a row. Or don't play a note there, turn it off. Or, what is really cool, I can go to my triggers, go to the skip trigger, and put skips in. Now I've got a length of six. Take skips out, back to seven, back to eight. You can put in rolls, you can put in skips, you can go to the menu direction, change it to pendulum. forward, backward, everything you can do with a note pattern or a note track you can do with the arpeggiator pattern. And you can mess with the notes as it's playing. Actually the other thing I wanted to show you really cool is this is a polyphonic patch on the Ambika 
and it's just ping, playing one note at a time. But I can go into my parameters, my parameter button, and go up to a note, a second note parameter, like we used when we made chords. Now I can put in additional notes. So right now in the first step, it's playing the third note an octave up, along with the first note, no octave change. So go back to the note layer I'm using. And now I've basically got two notes playing at every step. I can play some other notes on the keyboard. And I could set up several layers of notes and have, you know, six, eight notes playing off each step. So that's just a quick introduction to the arpeggiator, which is really pretty cool. Have fun with it.